Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateTools.com. I'm about to show you a brand new tool which I just released today. It's designed to be used on a computer with a keyboard and a mouse. I know that it works under Chrome and Firefox and it may work with some other browsers as well. To use it, go to RealClimateTools.com and click on US Temperatures. If it works on your browser, you will quickly see this appear on your screen. This is every recorded daily maximum temperature at Bruton, Alabama. If we look at the lower right, we can see that there's been 31,432 readings taken there with an average daily maximum temperature of 78.73 Fahrenheit. The hottest temperature is at the upper left. I'm going to place the mouse cursor over that point. You can see that on June 18, 1933, it was 109 degrees Fahrenheit. So I want to take a closer look at these very hot temperatures from the 1930s. What I'm going to do is right click and drag a rectangle over the area of interest. I released the right button on the mouse and now you can see we're zoomed in on a much smaller time period. And we can see that it was 108 degrees Fahrenheit on June 25, 1930. But I want to take a closer look at 1933, so I'm going to right click and drag a rectangle there again. Now I want to zoom horizontally but not vertically. What I'm going to do is hold down the H key on the keyboard and turn the mouse wheel. You can see that it's zooming horizontally. We can see that Bruton had a number of very hot days during June of 1933. 109 degrees, 108 degrees, 103 degrees, and 106 degrees. If I turn the scroll wheel without pressing any keys, you can see that it will zoom both horizontally and vertically at the same time. Now we're looking at six years of data from 1931 through 1936. You can see the very remarkable heat wave of June 1933 is the spike. Now if I want to change the years which are being displayed, I can left click and drag with the mouse. And I can also use the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard to move the years which are being displayed. Now suppose I just want to look at June temperatures. I can come here and select June. Let's zoom in on June of 1933 by right clicking and dragging a rectangle. Now let's just look at June the 18th. The only data point we see now is June 18, 1933. Let's look at all of the June 18ths by clicking on the Reset Zoom button or pressing the R key on the keyboard. I'm going to right click and drag to zoom in on this further. There are 82 June 18ths in the Bruton temperature record with an average temperature of 91.56 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's look at minimum temperatures instead of maximum temperatures by changing this from Tmax to Tmin. According to the United States Historical Climatology Network database, the low temperature at Bruton on June 18, 2000 was 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It's possible that this may be an error in their database. Now let's look at some other dates. This is June 1st, June 2nd, June 3rd, June 4th, June 5th, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's go back to maximum temperatures and look at all months instead of just June. Now I'm going to reset the display by pressing the R key on the keyboard. And I also want to change stations to Talladega, Alabama. Next I'm going to zoom in on their hottest temperatures by right clicking and dragging the mouse. Suppose I only want to look at temperatures over 103 degrees Fahrenheit. What I'm going to do is left click and drag everything downwards. We can see that Talladega has had 90 days over 103 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to use the right arrow key to move everything on the right side off the display. We can see that 72 of the 90 days over 103 degrees Fahrenheit occurred before 1955. Talladega, like most locations in the United States, had hotter temperatures prior to 60 years ago. Now let's reset the zoom by pressing the R key, and we're going to look at a different state, South Dakota. I'm going to select Gann Valley, South Dakota. Let's zoom in on the very hot weather there during the 1930s by right-clicking and dragging a rectangle. 
Let's zoom in some more on this extremely hot weather during the summer of 1936. Now I'm going to hold down the H key and zoom in with the scroll wheel. On July 5, 1936, Gann Valley, South Dakota reached an incredible 120 degrees Fahrenheit. You should have a good feel now for how this tool works. You can get help by clicking on the Help button or pressing the capital H key on the keyboard. And as I said, you should be able to use this on Chrome, Firefox, and probably on Safari as well. You can access all of the data for all 1,218 stations in the United States Historical Climatology Network database. Toto is hoping that people will find this tool very useful. You can visit Toto Curie and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com and at realclimatetools.com.